Hi, I'm Yal from the upcoming. Nice to meet oh, you. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. How are you guys? Are you yeah. excited about the premiere? Yes, sir. Big movie on the way. Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm. I'm I. I love. I. I had never really seen myself in a movie, although I've done movies. So that was the first movie I sat all the way through in the premiere, and I really just enjoyed. I really enjoyed it. Can you tell me more about your characters and what role do they play in this film? My character, man, uh, I play Jake. Uh, who does surf therapy and you know we're living in a sober living house as you saw and i was an ex-ketamine user but i'm more so you know the jokester of the house the uh, positive vibe energy guy but yeah that's my character and i played tom cruise in it um i was I, i've been at the house for seven years and i'm an um ex-underwear model and um i don't know i'm just like a strange kind of a guy that just kind of lives there i, I mean I, I don't know much about his backstory aside from that but um I just, you know, on paper, I just felt like I'd just be weird. And I, I think I think it kind of worked out, you know. Tell me, um, did you learn about AA meetings and how did you do your research about that? I've been in AA for like th off and on for 30 years. Mm -hmm. So I knew a, like a lot of people behind the scenes in the in the movie. I was asked because I was sober. And so um, I do have to say that it was the first me um, movie I've ever seen where AA was depicted in a real way. And I just mm -hmm. think that because, because of the people that were behind the movie, I know I was just in awe of it. So, um, yeah, I mean, uh, that's why I'm in it, because I'm sober. I just connected with the movie because, you know, I come from a uh, family of addicts. And uh, as far as medication and stuff, you know, I take medication for mental health awareness in my bipolar disorder. But we all have some type of form of addiction that we could relate to towards the movie so that's why i related to the movies like my uncles is drunks they went to aau you know i go to therapy and talk to you know my psychiatrist and stuff about um i mean not my psychiatrist but uh you know therapist. my therapist about, you know mm -hmm. mental health so yeah and what about softball and this entire culture of this game are you both fans of it um did you try to to play before no. Well, I'm definitely a fan of sports. Baseball is my thing. I like softball just because it's fun, but I'm very athletic. Like, I come from a skateboarding background, basketball, football. But I'm, I'm a huge sports fan. So if you check out the highlights, man, you can see I got a nice stance and a nice swing. Well, it was okay. It was okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm not that athletic. Um, I don't know how it's played, but I, I figured it out. And tell me, uh, because one of like John Knoxville is kind of your film guy since some kind of a coach. And how did you try to find this sort of connection or even the chemistry between his and your characters? How did you work on that? Well, I just basically looked at Johnny Knoxville as the big homie, you know. He's America's favorite jackass. He's been in the limelight for a long time. He deal with friends gaining success and you know, dealing with problems with drinking and, you know, just drugs. He come from the rock star lifestyle, but in the TV world, BMX world, skateboarding. So every time I was in the scene with him, I was just looking at him like, you know how I do look at him in real life. Like, that's the big bro. He been around the block twice and shook everybody hand once. So I was just learning from him the whole time. Just like I learned from Bobby Lee, you know? Yeah, for me, I mean, ninety percent of the people that were on the movie are people that I've already I've known, you know. And so I just kind of um, and we had Johnny and I have that kind of relationship anyway, so it wasn't really that hard, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of more of a follower anyway in life, you know. I'm not a leader. And before we wrap up, um, can you tell me, did you manage to maybe contribute to the film in any other ways apart from the acting? It's not as if doing this movie was a gigantic payday. You know, I did it because it it just felt like service work, and I we I I did it to support Lige, you know, and his movie. I didn't complain. I was more supportive and just like you know what I mean. I was just really just in a good mood and just in the pocket, and I was just ready to help. Yeah, I can. I come from the same uh, standpoint. Like I just really wanted to support Lige. I've seen a lot of potential, and then you know. I'm the newest, newest uh, actor as far, as far as experience, you know, in the movie compared to, you know, Jane Knoxville and Bobby Lee and stuff like that and Mo. But uh, long story short, I just added the charisma, man. Like the same thing that I do in all my projects. Uh, I just kind of be myself naturally inside the role and just, just add me to it. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yon. Thank you. Bye-bye.